to start, to date we have run a total of 346,286 tests for COVID-19, with 13,139 being reported in the last 24 hours. Today we are reporting an additional 2,122 new cases of COVID-19 here in Illinois for a total of 65,962 cases in total. Unfortunately, I'm also recording the largest number of fatalities reported in a single 24-hour period with 176 deaths, which brings us to a total of 2,838 lives lost in Illinois associated with COVID-19. Regarding hospitalizations in the hospitals throughout the state, we have 4,780 people who were reported to be in the hospital of those 1,266 patients were in the intensive care unit, and of those intensive care unit patients, 780 were on ventilators. On the recovery front, cases who responded to our survey continue to report recovery from this deadly virus. 47% of those surveyed within 14 days from their positive test report illness recovery. 74% of individuals surveyed 28 days after their positive test no longer are experiencing COVID-19 symptoms and are reporting recovery. I know that May has signaled a change, not only a change in the calendar month, not only a change in the weather, the season, but also a change in some people's psyche. The change has highlighted a, an increase sense of cabin fever and the desire to get out and get back to what people perceive as what their previous normal was and wanting that back so much. There's so much pressure for us to get back to that normal because we have all faced this unprecedented disruption to our lives. I commend Governor Pritzker for getting ahead in this fight against COVID-19. Without his leadership and his dedication to the people of Illinois, we would be in a much dire situation. But the truth is that we're still in a significant war with an enemy. If this was a traditional war where there were soldiers outside of our doors in the streets and people would be risking their lives to be outside of their homes, no one would think about the need to go to work. No one would think about getting their dog groomed. No one would think about getting their car washed. But this enemy is so different. It's invisible. And maybe as a result of that, we have underestimated the power and the destruction of this enemy, despite the very visible fact that more than 2,500 Illinoisans have lost their lives in just two months. That's an unprecedented amount of lives lost compared to any time within our Illinois history. So we all have a choice still to make, despite the fact that the month has changed. I know that some places are more open in a limited capacity. Maybe you see your friends out, maybe people are congregating, but let's still take our personal responsibility. You are responsible to wear a covering if you're out in public. You are responsible for helping protect elderly individuals who can suffer the most severe consequences from catching this virus. You are responsible for finding other ways to still connect with these individuals who do need connection but cannot have physical contact. You are responsible for staying inside as much as possible. The fact is that we are still battling the same virus that we were all so united in fighting just two months ago. It's the same exact virus that disproportionately kills older individuals, that, that targets people with diabetes or obesity or heart disease. And newsflash, many of us have these comorbidities making a large percentage of the population at risk. Yes, we've heard about some potential advancements and inroads in terms of treatment, but really there, there is no cure. There's still no vaccine, and we don't yet have enough testing to rapidly identify everyone who's infected and who has been infected previously. This is the reality of the situation before us, and we have to continue to do the right thing. We are very conscientious that there are people who cannot pay their bills. 
and they cannot provide for their families. And that's extremely distressing. And I understand that this is what leads some people to take their chances with the virus rather than continually lose income. But when they take that chance, it has repercussions for others who may not have been able to make that same choice. Right now, there are a lot of unknowns. In some cases, there are more questions than answers. And it's due to this novel virus. But we're working on how best to respond. My commitment is to you that we will continue to follow the data, and we will make the best recommendations based on that data. And it will be incumbent on you as individuals to follow those recommendations. If there are signs that we are headed in the wrong direction, I will make sure to signal the alarm as soon as possible, and we will have to make whatever course correction is necessary. We are still all in this together. Please continue to do your part for all of Illinois.